I just wanna be the one you love. I just wanna be the one you love. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a makeup look that will just sort of embrace the acne marks I have on my face. Um, it's a look that I kind of wear throughout the week. It's very light, it's not about covering the marks there but rather embracing them and just evening out the skin tone and hiding a bit of the darkness, dullness and redness in my skin. So this is how the end result sort of turned out. My skin is a lot more even, I have that nice tint on my lips and I just really like that look because I find that you can embrace the imperfections and still look beautiful. So let's get cracking really. To begin with, I will be using the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation, which is in the color Sandstone, which definitely adds a bit of tint to my skin as I'm pretty pale for me at the moment. And I'm gonna be using the little pad that it comes with. But to start with, I'm using a Max Factor Concealer, which is a mousse texture. Next up, I'm just taking a bit of Vaseline to hydrate my lips for any tint or lip liner that I'll be using later. So that's a nice easy step. And to be honest, this is very simple. There's like a couple of products. I'm putting a bit of concealer on the top of my eyelids as well to create a nice even base on the face. Now I'm going in with the foundation, this is a brand new one, um, however I have purchased it before so this is my second one and to be honest, you, if you want to get some form of coverage you need to sort of stipple it on like I am with the pad, pushing down, um, sort of brushing over with a brush doesn't really do much, you're going to get a very light coverage anyway so this is the best way to actually get some proper coverage. So as you can see, it's just calming down the redness in my skin, helping to even out my skin tone. And with this, I find that you just, you can slowly build up. Obviously you don't want to put too many layers because then it will become very dry and cakey. For the lips, just missed a bit of a clip here, but I basically lined it with this liner from Primark actually, and then I just filled in a little. I then went on to the brows, so I'm using LA Girl Brow Pomade. My brows are a bit unruly at the moment, I haven't waxed or plucked them, so to be honest I think that goes with the look because the look is very natural and just embracing the flaws that you might have. I wouldn't consider these flaws, they're just perhaps imperfection by society standards. I'm going in with a clear mascara here to just set my brows. A clear mascara is much cheaper than the eyebrow gels or what's marketed as eyebrow gels because pretty much they're the same formulas. Here I'm applying a little bit of liquid eyeliner. This is just something that I like to do to just give my eyes a bit of shape. As you've seen, I've just gone in with a bit of mascara, light coats, but it's just to volumize and lengthen my lashes and give some great clarity to the eyes. I just feel like they look a lot more open and ready for the world when I put a bit of mascara on. 
Lastly, we have blush. I love a bit of blush to bring some life. I use it at the high points of the cheeks to really just add that glow, glowing look. Um, a sweep, a gentle sweep along my face as well, never hurts. All in all, that pretty much concludes the look. It's very simple. You could go in with a setting spray if you wanted to, you know, set it and <laughs> let it last a bit longer. But generally, I just find that that looks a lot more put together than how I started. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe because I really think it's important that you embrace your skin, your acne and your acne marks and you can still look great. Even if your eyebrows aren't done or you have a lot more active spots than I do in this video, you can still look really, really good. And you don't have to cover your marks completely to be able to look put together, quoting that again, but you know, your skin being even and just reducing some of that redness can really make a big difference to the the way you look and it can affect your confidence. So I would definitely say, you know, if you wanted to judge this up a bit, you could put a nice red lip on. And compared to how I started, you know, my skin was a lot more dull, you could see that redness and it sort of lacked a bit of oomph in terms of colour as well. So afterwards you can see that I just look a bit more revived, my lips are more hydrated, my eyes look more awake and adding a tint just, I love doing a tint once in a while as well. All in all guys, that concludes my video. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love to embrace acne, acne positivity and the marks on your face. You don't have to cover them up at all, but this is just something to help you enjoy your face. <laughs>